guys, Kush here back with a new video. Today I want to talk about something that is of a concern to many of us. It's about our online privacy. The online world has actually grown a lot and there are people with exceptional skills who can sit in some part of the world and hack your computer by just sending you a link on WhatsApp or Facebook and you compromise your whole family's privacy by just clicking on that link. Well, even your ISPs or internet service providers or from whom you buy your internet connection, they keep a log of everything that you do online. Well, so the next time if you open your Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox and go in incognito or private mode, do not be under the impression that your activity is not getting captured. The ISPs do not hack your data, so do not worry about that. They might probably sell your data to some marketing agencies or data warehousing agencies from where you might be getting your spam emails of credit cards, loans, etc, etc, as per you, as per your searches. But they are not a threat. Oh yes, and do not call your ISPs and shout at them for selling their data because they might probably not even have any clue that something of this level is happening. All the data directly goes to their headquarters from where these decisions are taken. Apart from that, there is another concept called cookies. Well, I will not go into the detail of cookies, but to explain in the most simple terms, Suppose you are booking your online tickets of air. Now you have put some specific credentials and uh, you change your mind at the end and you close that window and after a while you again go to the same website, you put the same credentials and you will see a price height. You again close that window and again open it after some time, the probably there are chances that the price will be hiked again. Uh, it's it's a normal marketing practice, you cannot do anything about that. But this happens also with Uber and Ola if you observe very minutely. So, well, so all it, so in all this chaos, how do you keep yourself secure? I have a good news for you. That is a backdoor. It will make you completely invisible and not even your ISP will be able to track you. You will be like a ninja. The simple solution is to download a Tor browser, the details of which are mentioned in the description below. It is similar to something like a Google Chrome or your Mozilla Firefox but it has some extraordinary features under its roof. Tor was originally developed keeping the US Navy in mind with the primary purpose of protecting the government communications. Today Tor is being used worldwide by different agencies, maybe government agencies, law enforcement agencies, journalists, activists, socialists and so many techies like us. So let's understand how Tor works. But before that, we need to have a basic understanding of our day-to-day -day browsing. Now, every laptop or smartphone is connected to a unique number called IP address. So suppose this laptop has the IP address say 192.168.0.1. I'll not go into the technical specifications as of now, but when you type www.google.com on this laptop, the IP address will take this request to your ISP that is internet service provider this internet service provider will send the request to Google servers. The Google servers will understand that the request has come from India. So instead of www.google.com, they will send us www.google.in to your ISP. These ISP will send the data back to your laptop and you will be able to see the, the website. Now as you understood how a day-to-day -day browsing works, I will explain you how Tor changes it significantly. Well, if you are browsing through Tor, Tor changes your basic IP address from 192.168.0.1 to somewhere in Canada maybe. So now when you type www.google.com, it actually detects google.canada on your ISP and this Canadian request goes to Google servers. Google thinks that the request has come from Canada and not from India. So it will send google.ca instead of google.in. This google.ca is received back on your ISP and is reflected back on your Tor browser as www.google.ca. Tor's capability is not limited to masking a single IP address. It can take you through a nodes of different IP addresses. So suppose say, sorry, we have a very small budget, so this is what we can afford. <laughs> well, so this is Canada. This is, then it takes you to London. Then it takes you to USA. So after USA, the request is sent to your ISP. So ISP thinks that the request has come from USA, which is sent to google.com and Google replies with a USA server and google.com is actually displayed on your final Tor browser. After browsing from Tor, nobody will be able to trace back to you 
because the IP address was completely changed by it. You can also change this root whenever you wish to by creating a new identity in Tor. Now this was all about the PC or the laptop but what about our smartphones? Well there is an option for that as well. For Android users there is an option of an app called Orbot which is a part of Tor. You can download that from Google Play Store. While for iPhone users there is a free app called Opera VPN which you can download it from your app store. It works exactly like Tor. It enables you to work in complete privacy and you do not have to be worried about anyone watching you. But please guys do not misuse this information because we always think of misusing the technology first and then understand the good part of it. Welcome to the world of invisibility. <laughs>